macOS 15 added a native iPhone mirroring. After you update your system to version 15, you will see it straight away here in the dock. If you cannot see it in the dock, you can always head to Launchpad where you can see all of your apps. And it will be right there, iPhone mirroring. Keep in mind, you can mirror only iPhone on the recent software. So you need to update your phone to iOS 18 as well. All right, let's give it a go. So I click on iPhone mirroring. And now I need to confirm by clicking continue. I will have to unlock my phone. I just did that and now I can see something is processing here. I got little loading wheel. All right, do I want to allow notification from my phone? Let's allow that for now. Seems like iPhone mirroring is ready to use. As I mentioned, the key is to update both, not only your MacBook, but also your phone as well. I use my phone right now and it's temporary stop the mirroring. So keep that in mind, whatever you grab your phone to your hand and start doing stuff on it it will kind of stop the mirroring for a moment. All right, so now I'm locking my phone back. I click the lock button on the right, and now I got access to my phone again. So that's also a problem. Some people don't understand that. They try to use the phone same time they try to mirror and it doesn't work this way. All right, so here it is. I can see my phone in the separate window. I can turn on different apps. I can use it as I would normally use my phone with the mouse pointer here. We got access to settings and all of that stuff. We got additional options. If you hover your mouse outside the area, you can switch between apps like you would do with the gesture on your phone. Or you can even drag this to the right to kind of stick to that side of the screen. And then you can pull it out. You can stick it to the left as well. All right, so that's how you can mirror your iPhone on your desktop on your Mac. Be sure your MacBook and your iPhone are both updated to the last version. So you need to have Mac on version 15 and phone on version 18. All right, thank you for today. I will see you in the next tutorial.